freak show, my wife opened up a box of college stuff with her friends that were over for the weekend. Old pictures, flyers from parties, just junk from their dorm. And while they drank and they laughed, I cooked on the grill and kept bringing in food. It was just good to see her have a good time. While I was coming in, I heard them reading letters that were from her old boyfriend. I didn't say anything, but sitting there and listening in the kitchen had me with a lot of questions. Why is she holding on to all of this stuff 12 years after we've left college? I don't like it, but I kept my cool. Can I ask her to toss these things out just on sheer respect? Um, I mean, if you want to, you can definitely bring it up and and see how she feels about the situation. Is your, is your guy playing himself? Uh, you shouldn't if he, care. If he, if he, right. He shouldn't it's care. It's not that's a the, big that's deal. That's the You're energy he's her. asking you for. Do you, do, you, do you feel he's light for asking? Yes. Like, this is such an unimportant thing in the grand scheme of relationship set issues. I think you're trying to search for something that's wrong in your relationship right now because maybe things are just going so right. Maybe you have a really good relationship and now this is like one little bump. It's really nothing. If, if it really bothers you, definitely talk to her about it. But, I mean, you guys have been together for 12, 13 years. Sit down. I think Relax. One of, I think one of the biggest things that holds people back in relationships is them thinking about the past, especially a past that you're not even a part of. Um, if she's past it and, she, like, you can't get mad at her for holding on to it. She probably forgot that they were even in there. Yeah, she, my, my only advice is um, if you've been with her that long and you've never heard about it or never seen her reminiscing in this box or whatever – then it's a moot point. Yeah. Let it go. Just yeah. let it go. It ain't Just even worth it. Because if you end up, you know, riding out on her like that, then she's not going to share anything else with you. So you make it a big deal. So don't play yourself. Yeah. Right, what we got? All right. Out of the 813, anyone can answer this. Just need an answer. Am I wrong for being aggravated that as of recently, every female I done hit up to date, not hook up with, but legitimately date, uh, grow, et cetera, plays games or says, you're super sweet. I don't know if we can date, though. Ooh, you're getting the same thing from all the girls. Well, maybe all the girls you're going, maybe your picker is off at the moment. No, it's that you're a good dude, and they don't like good dudes. Good dudes don't make it in this world, like, as far as the dating world. The world, yeah, the dating world, nah. You don't want you want him to change who he is? No, I'm, I'm saying that you're a good dude. They're going to play you mm-hmm. until they get hurt enough times. And, I mean, and this is just keeping it a buck. The b- girls that are out there that are, like, a problem are the ones that want the bad guy. The bad guy hurts you. The good guy picks you up and puts you back together. Then you go back to the bad guy because you ain't done yet. Because you're bored. And then you mess around and yeah. you get hurt again. And, yeah. the big guy, and the good guy puts you together. And then you have an epiphany and you're like... Why am I messing around? Mm -hmm. You so good to me. You keep picking me up and picking me up from Dante's house and blah, blah, blah. And then he gets his shot. Yeah. And that's it. And it probably ain't going to work out because she's going to want to go back to the bad dude because ain't nothing like some bullet wounds in love. Yeah, dude. You got to stop being the friend zone guy. You're the friend zone guy. To thine own self be true. Be yourself, but just know it comes at a cost. Yeah. The bad guy's going to always give more shots at you, but when the good guys get their shot, they nail it and then get in. And it's just on the luck of the draw. I think but he's ladies, trying to find ladies have to find a love for the good guy when they've gone through a bunch of frogs. Mm-hmm. That's when they get they, they start lowering their little expectations. They're like, maybe I don't need a thug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they got to go bail them out a couple more times or somebody shoot at their car <laughs> or something like that. Or they find a whole Damn. bunch of condoms like with two rap, with two condom wrappers missing. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm going to mess around and mess with Earl. Yeah. You know, like hey, that guy. He's with a good The nice guy. one. Fitzgerald always is a good guy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what Orlando said is nothing but the truth from Tina. There, there you go. go. Yes. Okay. Out of the 727, I was seeing someone for five weeks. We saw each other quite a bit, at least two to three times a week. We went away for two weekends separately. He told me he was crazy about me frequently. I was honestly crazy about him too. Then out of nowhere, he told me it wasn't right. The, it wasn't fitting at the time. Then we aren't using the same vibration that physically and spiritually, we are very connected, but there was something missing that hasn't been there before. And he ghosted me after that. Um, I got divorced several years ago, and this is the first time I really liked somebody. I feel so heartbroken. What do I do? Get over it. Get over it. Like, <laughs> honestly, you said five weeks. Five, the, what we need to do as a dating public is figure out what timing deserves your energy. Mm-hmm. If you've dated somebody for five weeks, realize that's like five weeks on a job. If you quit a job after five weeks, are they going to be like, how dare you? Nope, you figured it out. 
Yeah. You mm-hmm. found out that job wasn't for you. This relationship wasn't for him. He gave it five weeks and decided y'all ain't in love. Five weeks, you ain't committed to each other. It sounded like a love bombing situation. Five yeah. weeks ain't that. Five weeks of anything. Five weeks of a diet ain't gonna change your life. Mm-hmm. Five weeks of a relationship ain't gonna change your life. Five weeks of a job ain't gonna change. Five weeks ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can't take the things that he was saying with much validity because it's the honeymoon stage. He's obviously tell you the things that both you of y'all saying hear. stuff that don't matter. Yeah, you're saying the things that you want to hear. You kind of also sound like you were an option for him to just switch up like that. He probably chose another option. That he really liked. That's how dating is these days. Yeah, yeah you on ain't get chose. Yeah, yeah, move on get, to the next. You didn't get chosen. Sorry. You know, and, and, and sitting and reminiscing about it might feel like you having your own personal notebook, but you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> You're not. You was five weeks in. You was an option. You were at the buffet, and he decided that he didn't want to do any more prime rib. He wanted to go over to the chicken wings. <laughs> All right? So you just sit there and be prime. Rocking with Demesman and Dover. Yeah. It is your Therapy Thursday. We like to talk it out, work it out, give you some, some options to hear some truth. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes, you know, it might be something that you needed to hear. Yeah. Dude, we have one on the line that is a bomb you need to answer. Um, okay, he says uh, D. D from Orlando. D is on the phone. Hey, D, how, how's it going? Oh, uh, it's different, man. It's different. Different. Uh, All right, talk to us. What's going on? I got a call from some family members Tuesday night. Uh, a young lady reached out to them on Ancestry.com. Uh, short version of a long story. I have a 25-year-old daughter that I found out about two days ago. <gasps> you have a 25-year-old daughter and you didn't know? Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Two days ago. Wow. Okay, so before we even jump in anything, how do you feel? I don't know how to feel. Uh, in the beginning, it was fear because there was one person. I'm like, okay, well, we left on bad terms, and I hope it wasn't that mom. Mm. It's not oh, so that you don't person, even know which so. mom it is. Well, I found out yesterday afternoon. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Afternoon. yeah so now I know. But, again, that first day was just like, whoa, okay, now you, you're trying to play back. And you're talking about this is 97. Mm. Like okay. it was, pop, it was popping in ninety seven, huh? Yeah, it was popping in ninety seven, boy. You was you was two way in and Motorola two way paging each other. You was doing it up. The DMX was hot. Wow. <laughs> so, so apparently, you know, because then my second fear was, you know, did she have resentment? You know, never had a father, never had this, never had that. Apparently, the mom was also in a relationship with somebody, and he decided, well, regardless whose it is, and he knew it's my daughter or my child. We're gonna raise. So she it. Ra- she so, was raised with love and with parents, wow. dude. Getting enge- or engaged, going to get married next year, in law school, works at a law firm. Like, everything is amazing. But she had a health scare, I guess. She took the vaccine and had a stroke Ooh. recently, a mild stroke recently. So everything is good. But when they did the DNA check, and it's like, okay, well, yeah, he's not your dad. Damn. Wow. So she's just found out, too. Holy oh. crap. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So so now, um, so I mean, what can we answer for you other than the fact that, you know, you have this this beautiful daughter that people have raised and kind of you haven't had a part in it. So even though you're proud of where she is, it's like, how can you get in and, and, and maybe become a part of that? Is that what and you want exactly to do? It. That's exactly it. Like, how do I add to it without taking away if someone's already Aww. amazing life I think and, that, and not being selfish at all? No, uh, I don't think it's selfish. You should definitely talk to her on the phone, FaceTime and ask her to meet up, maybe go to lunch a long extended sit down where you guys can really talk about each other's lives and differences and get to know one each uh, each other i think if anything um you sit down with her and you say listen i'd um i i, I don't want to come in and, and un, un, my, undermine anything that you've had in your life because you've had parents who've built you up and, and helped you get to this place but uh, I have a, a part of you that I've just found out about, and I would love to maybe answer some of the questions that you might wonder about. I mean, about your family, about who, you know, your bloodline, about any of that stuff that, you know, is the, are the things that you've maybe wondered why these things happen, and maybe I can answer some of that. I'm not trying to undermine anything. Make that clear and just be like, I just, I didn't know you were even here, and to to be able to be a part of your circle would be, you know, a blessing. Yeah. And just keep it there and, and let her decide how close she wants to be to you. Okay. okay. You're the adult. She's an adult, you know, 25 years old, but you're the old elder statesman. So just make sure that you keep a space open for her so she can do it as she might want to jump in your arms or she might want to, you know, be pensive about it. So let her move closer to you, kind of like you would do with a puppy, like let a puppy choose you. 
You know what I mean? Not equating your daughter as a puppy. But no, 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 no. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is yeah, congratulations, you man. You know what? Hey, you 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 got a new family member and a new source of love out there. So you know you you tap into that however you feel free. Yeah. Hey, Orlando, it's a girl. Hi, yeah, you got you a girl, girl dad. dad You're a girl dad now, boy. <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy and congratulations. All right, man. Appreciate it. That's what's up. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, wow. Right. Somebody just said I didn't know my real father. I found out in my twenties. Why would Damn. you not share that, especially? Over well, time? maybe they didn't know. Now the mom knew. They knew, and she had to find out at the hospital when she just had a mild stroke. That's messed up. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Somebody uh, just wrote out of the 904. Who hurt Orlando? Damn, he killing them with truth bombs this yeah, you morning. Are. Like, I, you're not being, uh, you're not sugarcoating nothing. I, listen, man, it's just like, it's you know what? It's that gluten and keto. I, yeah, I had, me, I had me some gluten and some, some carbs yesterday. Right, this one energy. out of the 863. My boyfriend acts different towards me around his mother, like I'm annoying and he isn't happy. But when we're home, he is lovey-dovey. Should oh, I, should I just end things? Oh, no, you, you got don't, some don't. mommy issues, no, do you? Stop, huh? stop, stop. You want to make me look bad in front of your mom? It's and, not oh, bad. And then you want the yes, and then when we go home, oh, you want all the loving and the caring, and you want my sex. But when I'm in front of your family or your mother, who you hold up so high, now I'm I'm the that's, enemy. That's just somebody who's not you. Their their mom is not used to seeing them in a relationship, and they're not used to their mom seeing them in a relationship. Someone needs to grow up, uh, right? And get but, a pair. But until he does, like he, you have to real if, if the relationship relationship is worth it for you how 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 long is he around his mom once a week two maybe, twice times a week maybe a couple so times so a is it that is that so much of an inconvenience yes like, it, it's, is. it really is not it is an inconvenience because you're embarrassing me and now i feel uncomfortable and now i don't even want to be around your mom or you with your mom god if y'all if y'all don't understand how it would be dating married yeah, wait, wait a minute wait a minute yeah, no 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 yeah, you need to make <laughs> me feel comfortable around your family make me feel like i'm a part of the family and right, but I'm saying like if if not he's not com- if he's not comfortable, like some people aren't comfortable showing emotion around their family because their family hasn't seen it. Like if you've never dated somebody around them, you don't know how to be kissy and be all that, that stuff. It's like yeah, right, and that's what she's saying. He's yeah. like he's not all on me except when we at home, but when we ride his mama, he's yeah. not. And what he's not she's... comfortable that way. Uh, your mother wants nothing more than to see you happy. And if I don't want my mama watching hand, me make out with people. That's not what we're talking about. I'm talking about I don't know a hug or a hold in my hand or, or pulling out my chair before we all sit down at a meal. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing inappropriate, and you need to grow up. But what if what if <laughs> Just Somebody at 863 says struck a nerve for my girl Meredith. Yeah, yeah, let that girl start. go off. <laughs> just play devil's advocate, though. What if she is just being super extra around the mom and doing things that do annoy per- him? Though? I don't know. Some what's girls, going. some girls are comfortable being sexual around adults, and some guys who are respectful of their moms are not. And so that's a little bit of a battle. You just got to get more comfortable with each other. She got to stop pressing, and he got to stop backing away. If she stops pressing, he'll stop backing away. I think it's gonna yeah. be ignored. Like, you ain't got to be trying to bust it wide open in front of my. Mom. I'm, yeah, a, I'm a Christian woman. She's not on to see all sure. that. And take it from a guy who doesn't see his mom a lot. When I see my mom, I put all my attention towards my mother. I get because that. I don't see and her that should. much. And you are mama's boy. And and according to mama. Meredith, you are mama's boy. <laughs> all right, Let wait. This boy. comes out of the 813. It says, tell me if y'all spitting facts, answer this. Why do people who cheat on you always end up in a new relationship after you bust them cheating? You want to go out and have all that you want, but now you want to go get a girlfriend, make it make sense. I think some of these people don't see themselves as maybe a serial cheater. And so once they're done with a relationship where they cheated, they're hopeful that it's not going to happen again. And so if they keep doing it and they keep making mistakes, they don't look at themselves as the mistake, but really they are. The deal is they like variety. Right. But they're not being honest with themselves. What they like more than variety, they like having a chance to get caught oh like the Cheater, excitement cheaters can't be who they are without somebody to cheat on yeah. okay so if you don't have a person then you're not living your truth if i'm a cheater and i'm like yo i got me somebody now i can go get me three extras yeah. that's because i got somebody so now if i'm single and i'm out here i'm not living my truth as mm. a cheater mm. i gotta have somebody who's leaning on me and keeping it tight at home and then I can be a cheater. And on top of that, when I don't have options, yeah, I got to fall back. Because every cheater got a girl at home that when he ain't got anybody, 
them legs are wide for them. Mm-hmm. And that's what they like. Something at home to lock it down. That's why cheaters are always going to yeah, have a home base. The excitement to the cheaters is actually cheating sometimes. Like right. That excitement of... Being, possibly being, being caught sneaky. and all that being and sneaky. that's the and that's not everybody who cheats that's the real like i'm you catch them and bust them all the time yeah devious. and then they go out and find somebody else and that's just so they can cheat on them too yeah yeah yeah. we said it earlier to thine own self be true sometimes that's not a positive sometimes mm-hmm. that's yo yo you got to be a gangster then that's who you got to be yeah that's sometimes yeah. that's You're who you cheated, are that's who you got to be and as the person that got cheated on and isn't with them anymore that's not your problem anymore you shouldn't be worried about that there you but go. you're still watching you watch See, that's why you block them. <laughs> block them. As soon as they leave your life and you get them off the island, extinguish that torch Bye. like they do on Survivor. And you got a couple couple time, couple time, minutes to grab your bags and get off this island. Mm-hmm. So, And then block them so you ain't got to see all that. All right? Therapy Thursday is a wrap. Bye.